Would you like to sound powerful in your speaking? Would you like to know exactly what lines to avoid in your speaking so that you sound more influential? Would you like to deliver world-class presentations? If yes, then make sure you watch this video till the end because I'm going to show you exactly the three lines to avoid in every single talk, every single presentation, every single meeting for the rest of your life. Hi, this is Bishal Sarkar and for the past 14 years, I've been a real-world public speaking mentor and a public speaker for companies like Microsoft, Google, IBM, uh, Cisco and the the reason I say that is because I've been featured in Conscious Millionaire and Reebok and Times of India and the reason it's important for you to understand about what lines to avoid is if you are a if you are an IT professional or a project manager or a CEO or a vice president or a business leader one thing to keep in mind is you have to avoid the common mistakes so here are the three lines the three sentences you should always avoid in your speaking sentence number one is I'm feeling nervous please excuse me okay now the moment you say this line as you can see on the screen I'm feeling nervous please excuse me you think that okay if I say I'm nervous they will be kind to me maybe they will be kind to you but now they're seeing you as incompetent incompetent and underconfident they are not seeing you as credible expert because you are nervous I like I wanted to imagine for a second I wanted to imagine that you are actually laying down on the bed in a hospital you know your heart surgery is gonna happen and the heart surgeon comes and looks at you and says don't mind but I'm nervous huh you're nervous now like oh my god like now you are gonna be nervous for that does that make sense to you so you don't want to say nervousness now that's the reason it's very important for you to have the confidence and the courage and the certainty that by practicing the right tools and techniques okay it's not about watching videos and joining some online courses that you see out there where you don't get results you have to find the right techniques look the thing is the people who actually grow this garden for example guess what they have to do they have to put in the soil the fertilizer that's when the trees will grow that's when the trees will give you fruits right trees yes they're saying yes so you need to have that mindset so never again say oh I'm 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 sorry guys I'm nervous and all that Be stop begging for mercy makes sense to you the second thing the second statement you should avoid is you are wrong you are wrong I've seen that so many times let's say a speaker is speaking and the audience raises their hand and says something and the speaker will say oh well you know what I disagree you are wrong and let me tell you why now here is the problem when you say that the audience is wrong they can be wrong I'm not saying they're always right they can be absolutely wrong there are so many wrong people in the world okay they can have wrong perception wrong idea wrong answer wrong way of thinking wrong concept wrong information however if you say you're wrong what you're doing is that you're disconnecting from the entire audience because for the rest of your speech or your presentation you know nobody's gonna engage with you anymore because nobody wants to say oh if I say something maybe he will say or she will say I'm wrong again I don't want to feel wrong in front of everybody so I will not say anything you're disconnecting the audience instead of the leaning forward of the audience now they're gonna be skeptical about listening to you they will not say anything they'll be judging you all the time because they don't want to hear from you that they are wrong does that make sense to you so number one don't say that pardon me I'm sorry I'm nervous number two don't say you're wrong and number three you know, don't say at the end of your presentation tell me if you have heard this you know a speaker will speak for about 10 minutes 45 minutes two hours doesn't matter the time frame doesn't matter here at the end they will say okay that's all I had to say do you have any question now that's the mistake number three do you have any question no because suddenly if you say do you have any question first of all the audience did not know that you are coming to a question answer session and number two everybody with the moment you say that you know do you have any question you'll say some people will be looking around or on a on a zoom session for example they will they will look like who's gonna ask some question no so what you want to do is that before coming to a question answer session two minutes before that say guys uh, we are coming to the end very very soon we have two more minutes and after that I'm gonna take three questions to so make your questions ready I'm gonna come to it very very soon see it's called a priming effect process okay priming effect process you prime the audience about what you're gonna do way before you do that and then when you actually come to the question answer instead of saying do you have any question which is a wrong thing to do here is what you say hey like I said now we are opening the floor for the questions guys what question do you have for me Mm. what question do you have for me not do you have a question because do you have a question can be yes or no what question means you know I already know you have questions what questions do you have for me this is called a powerful positive alternative okay these are some of the many there are so many different tools and techniques that you really need to know if you want to be a great speaker but I have a quick question for you 
would you like to spend the next 40, 50, 60 years of your life that you are alive, going to be alive for? Let's say that you are 35, 40, 45, 50 year old. And if you are going to be um, alive for another 40 years, would you like to, how would you like to spend the next 40 years of your life as an average speaker? Would you want that? Or second option is, would you like to be a world-class speaker for the remaining 40, 50 years of your life? If you're the second option, give us a call on the number so that we can show you exactly how to avoid the mistakes you're making and how Hello. to really go through a step by step by step process. I'm going to take you through a process here right now so that you can become a speaker with progress. Does that make sense to you? So if you're a leader and if you want to become a powerful speaker with great voice, great body language, great spoken language, great confidence so that you can actually grow in your career, have great social circle, social reputation and great happiness without wasting any time then give us a call on the number that you see on the screen right now one of my team members will speak with you and understand exactly what you're looking for so that we can show you how to be a great speaker that's all i have for you right now bishal sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection best was uh, a meeting with my md so earlier it was difficult to go to md and discuss few things and uh, this week again as i mentioned in last week I walked into MD's cabin, something I wanted. I had a discussion with him, critical discussion, and I was able to put my points together. Mm -hmm. Together, So I think that was a... Uh, nice. How, how did the overall meeting go? Uh, apart from you explaining, how, how was the overall impact, do you believe? Impact was good. Uh, the meeting did not last much because uh, he had something else uh, going on. But within a few minutes, I was able to convey my message and I could get his answer or he does reciprocated fast or whatever else. Like I what Suma may also mentioned uh, earlier, I would have been a reluctant person not to go or I would have uh, decided uh, to postpone it. But now, you know, I take initiative and go and do it. So earlier it was, you know, okay, you you wanted to finish meeting fast. Now it is other way around. You want to stay back there, convey more. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, it should last more and all those things. So slowly that fear factor is uh, going and confidence factor is coming. That's amazing, Jyoti. Very good job, Anup. Hi, this is Bharti. I work for a pharmaceutical company. Uh, I have met Mr. Bishal during September 2017. There are many life lessons uh, which I have learned. And all these life lessons had great impact on my life. Stop seeking approval, nothing to hide, nothing to hide and nothing to prove. Which had a great impact on my life and uh, they have completely changed the perspective of my life. 